Hey, love bugs, it's Roz. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning selves, my grown extended family. Congratulate yourselves. You are growing, you are healing, you are just stepping you know stepping bold into the light that is meant for you and with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you feel like you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line i love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just opening up telling me about your empathic gift on how it impacted your life and sending you towards positive direction. And also, if you feel like the video just gave you good vibes and you feel like, hey, I want to share this with a loved one or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. Thank you so much for stopping by. Much love to you. And showing, thank you for showing much love and support towards the channel. And I hope, once again, you are able to resonate with the content of my video today. And this beautiful, peaceful music that I'm listening to, it makes me so relaxed when I listen to meditation music, especially when I'm, you know, doing my videos. It's called Relaxing Music, Three Hours of Music, No Loops, Stress Relief, Spa Music, Stress Management. And I will post that link in the description box below. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, don't sleep on your gift until reality hits. Lord have mercy. <laughs> that can happen. That can happen because I've seen people that I've encountered that, you know, from before and me going through my things, you know, when you can really go through some traumatizing stuff that, you know, there's things that are coming up in your memory. There's things that are coming up just in your surrounding, your, your surroundings. And it's trying to reach out and tell you, hey, you need to pay attention to this. Hey. You know, um, you need to recognize the things that are going on that you truly need to change. Don't sit up here and sleep on it and keep suppressing it and suppressing it. And I've said it like I've said it before. You know, our, our stress and our, you know, our trials and our tribulations, when we always keep things bottled up on the inside, it's just like having a big pot of, like, water or, you know, stew cooking on the stove and you're multitasking, trying to take everything on at once, trying to figure everything out at once, instead of just taking your time and be able to organize yourself, organize yourself and doing step by step so you can be able to do everything and pay attention to that pot, because if you're not paying attention to that pot and you're, you're trying to grab all these other things, and the water overflows it makes a big mess and that's just like our lives if we don't recognize the things that we're going through and pay attention to the things that are brought into our forefront it's going to mess us up it really is going to mess us up because i see myself be really negative i see myself looking at things in a dark path i mean a dark way knowing you know, if I really just truly sat there and just thought about it and look at every aspect around me and just let it flow, you'll be able to understand why you went through the things you went through. And sometimes that'll piss you off. <laughs> It'll really piss you off on the things that you're going through because you're like, why me? Why? You know, I already got all these other things going on and now this, you know, and we, we can go through things like that because it takes true soldiers to be able to take on some ish like that. You know, it really is. It really is. So you have to pay attention to the things that you're going through. Recognize the darkness when you're recognizing the darkness, when, when the darkness comes to you. Especially when it comes to doing things like with your ego. Because our ego will race, it will race on. We are our own worst enemies. You know, the, you know when the ego starts, then the negative, you know, the negative vibes will come up. And then, you know, past memories will come up that trigger things that you're probably going through now. You know, set you all up in a funk and get you up in your feelings. So, you know, be able to, to recognize the things when they come up in your life. You know, try to work on yourself. Be, you know, just be attentive when things is coming your way, when it comes to signs and synchronicities, 
on things that are coming up in your life or warning you that are coming up in your life. You know, educate yourself. Keep learning more and more about yourself. You know, we, we are doing so good, but sometimes we'll fall step, you know, a few few paces back. But it's supposed to happen because that's life. You know, we, we're going with the flow and sometimes, you know, a monkey rich will get thrown in our program. But it's just like if you can live to start another day and say, okay, you know, yesterday was yesterday. Let today be today. Because there's nothing you can change for yesterday because things are already gone. So, you know, just keep pushing on. Things will get better. Don't be so hard on yourself. If you need to take a break, take a break. You know, you need to educate. Go ahead and do that as well. But, you know, keep pushing out the positive intent. Know that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved. And know there's always somebody out there praying out there for your better days. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. So now I'm, much, I'm sending out much love and light to you, healing blessings, uplifting vibes, and loving vibes your way, especially when you truly need it. And like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Drop me a line. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. And I will see you on my next video. Much love to y'all. Have a great weekend. Talk to you later. Oh, well, I hope you had a great weekend. So, and it's starting a new week. So I forgot almost what day it was. So today's Sunday and I'm doing this for Monday. So I'll see you later. It's my third video, y'all. Be patient. All right, much love to y'all. Peace and be wild. Bye.